guys. So, ask brother Megan, what is a cold front? It's a question so many people don't really know the answer to. You think you do, but do you really? A cold frontal boundary is basically the transition zone between warmer, muggier air and cooler, drier air. And along that transition zone, a lot of times we get showers and we get storms. Now, a cold front itself is not the colder air. It's the boundary between those two air masses. And as that colder, drier air starts to move into the warmer air, it causes the warm air to rise. As it rises, it cools. As it cools, sometimes it condenses enough to form clouds. If there's enough moisture in the air, it forms the possibility of showers and maybe thunderstorms with enough lift. So that's why right along that transition that we call the cold front, oftentimes there are showers and storms. Sometimes in the summer months, severe weather, and oftentimes in the winter months, it comes with snow. And in winter, it can often bring about a very, very cold air mass. In the summer, sometimes it just takes you from hot to kind of hot. It's just dependent on the season and on how strong that particular cold front is. But now you know, the front is not the cold air. The front is that transition zone between the two air masses. That is your information, my friends, on a cold front. You can always follow me on Twitter, at Megan Glaros. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can just click that little box with my picture in it on the upper right and click subscribe.